everyone, it's Lily Oracle Rice Bunnies and before I start this video, I want to say one quick thing. Please do not ask me to do a tutorial on this resin tile and I'll have an explanation in the description box down below. I'm sorry for adding that really kind of down um, disclaimer but I just wanted to get that out there before I started this video. So okay, on with the video. So um, today's video, obviously, I wanted to share with you guys my very first resin tile and I am just so happy to show you guys what I made and um, obviously it is Molong themed with strawberries and I painted in Molong with the strawberries so this was done with acrylic paint. These are not stickers. And um, if you guys are more interested in the painting process with resin, I have a video in the description box of Crafter's Delights where she shows how she paints in her resin and it's the same exact way that I do mine. So you guys can go watch that if you're interested. So um, now I'm just going to describe to you guys the process and just the different types of layers that are in this tile. And this is my first time describing a tile, so please bear with me. Um, so the back is just pink and I use that as a background and I colored this first layer with resin pigments and it's a really pretty milky pink color. I think in total there are about five or six layers of resin and I used about maybe like five to six ounces of resin, I'm not completely sure. But the first layer was this pink background and then I poured a second layer of clear resin and I embedded this paper doily, which I got in my craft store in the baking section. And I sealed it with Mod Podge first so that way the resin wouldn't eat at the paper. Um, after this layer got a little more tacky, that's when I added the glitter. So as you guys can see here, there are really pretty iridescent hearts. I have some pink cellophane and white cellophane in there or clear. I'm not really sure if you call it white or clear cellophane. Um, I also added strawberry canes on this layer and I think they add a really cute touch. And then after the layer cured, I did this chocolate drip and I really like the way that the chocolate drip turned out. It kind of um, looks a lot like Hershey's chocolate syrup. And um, I actually used glass paints for the chocolate drip and this little heart here. And this was purchased at Daiso. Um, little Surprises YT actually sent me this. So after that, um, I let the layer cure completely and I let the glass paint dry. I poured the third layer of resin. After I embedded the pearls, I let the resin completely cure so it was hard. And then I started painting them along. And as you guys can see, there are tons of bubbles here. And I think it's because I, I, I did like about eight layers of white paint because my acrylic paint is not the best quality so I have to layer a bunch of times so it can get a color on here. The bubbles only appeared on the white areas so I think it's because I did too many layers. But um, basically after I did the white layer, um, I outlined it with brown paints and it's basically just like painting on paper so I just painted in Malang and I used an image on Google to reference this and it's literally like the first picture of Malang you see. Um, so I painted in Malang and all of his facial features and then I also painted in this plate and after I let that completely dry I poured my, what is it, my fourth layer of resin. And after I let that completely cure, I painted in the strawberries. And I really liked painting in the strawberries after the Malong in the plate because it gave it some dimension. And you can't really tell on camera, but the strawberries literally look like they're sitting on top and there's like a shadow casting. So I really like that effect. I'm gonna try to take pictures of this tile and then add it at the end of the video. But yeah, that's basically that. And then after I let all of that paint dry, I just domed it, which meant like I popped it out of the mold and then I poured a last layer of resin so that way it kind of had this like domed or topping effect. And then I let it cure and now it's super shiny on the front. There are bubbles and imperfections, but I'm super happy with how this turned out and I'm just really satisfied for it being my first resin tile. Again, um, I will have more details all about resin in the description box. I'll have videos to resin tutorials that I think are super helpful and that I personally used when I first started out with resin. When you learn the basics of resin and how to use it, um, tiles can 
you know, tiles are just basically made up of basics of resin. And then after that, it's just all up to your creativity and your planning. So again, resin tile, like resin tile tutorials aren't really necessary if you just learn all the basics. Um, but I will have a ton of great stuff in the description box. Please open the description box. It means the world to me when you guys actually read it when I ask you to. So please do that. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think of the tile. Um, maybe I'm running really low on resin now, but I want to do more tiles where I'm painting in things. So maybe give me some themes that I should do for my next tile. And yeah, I am just super happy about this. And thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I'm sorry for that huge disclaimer that I did in the beginning of the video. I've just been really frustrated lately with people not taking the time to just do simple things that I asked them to. And it's just, I don't know, it just gets really frustrating sometimes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.